Hey, welcome to my channel, Losing My Cool. Today we are going to talk about my new favorite, Infinity Parts 8, which is an energy pulse rifle in Destiny 2. It's been a while since Destiny 2 have been fun for me, but a couple of days ago I got this pulse rifle and decided to try it in uh, Crucible, and guess what, it actually works. <laughs> so this was a new toy that actually made the game fun again. And what I found was a pulse rifle that really, really do feel great and actually a lot of fun to use. And the pulse rifle that is my new treasure is Infinity Paths 8. Do note that I think you probably need to have the DLC Curse of Osiris to get this weapon. To get the quest just go and visit the brother once at the lighthouse in Mercury and the quest will trigger randomly. Enough about that. Let's look at the stats on it and compare it with other pulse rifles in the same tier. So the stats is impact 27, range 37, stability 55, handling 70, reload speed 64 and finally runs per minute is 450. Just by looking at the stats it seems like it's uh, actually just a mediocre rifle but it's not mediocre actually it's a pretty good pulse rifle we just need to check the perks so let's jump in and take a look at the stats on this one it has lightweight frame which gives it superb handling and move faster with this weapon equipped and the handling really do matter a lot especially in pvp but also in PvE, in my opinion. And we have um, Arrowhead Break, which greatly controls recoil and increases handling speed. And we have Corkscrew Rifling, slightly increases range and stability, slightly increases handling speed. Finally, we get the full bore so it's optimized for distance it greatly increases range but it decreases stability and slightly decreases handling speed my recommendation is that you go with corkscrew rifling the next three perks are alloy magazine faster reloads when the magazine is empty then you get accurized rounds this weapon can fire longer distances and it increases the range and finally on this row you got magazine drops on reload wasting ammunition but greatly increasing reload speed which it truly does but the final perk or trait is dragonfly and that's actually a waste on this one especially if you're playing pvp uh, on pve you might get some use when you're killing ads but on pvp it's a big waste infinite path 8 is actually a pulse rifle that is so good and powerful that you can actually come out on top in a 1v1 where the opponents are using a euro's gift or some other auto rifle i found this pulse rifle to be most efficient on medium range or medium long range on short range it's it's a bit clunky but it also works on short range the rate of fire on this one is actually excellent uh, 450 that's a pretty high rate of fire so with the stability you get you can actually easily take down other players with this pulse rifle and even have some fun doing it. <laughs> At least I have been having a lot of fun with this uh, pulse rifle. Uh, for me it's good to see that there are some pulse rifles in Destiny 2 that are usable. Uh, of course there are others more hard hitting pulse rifles but I don't like the pulse rifle with uh, really low rate of fire. I enjoy the more when there's a high rate of fire pulse rifle. 
like the clever dragons or whatever it was called in Destiny 1. And that was a really beastly pulse rifle. As I said, I think this pulse rifle is locked behind the DLC Curse of Osiris. But you do have other options such as uh, Nurgle PR4 or Nightshade, which are in the same tier. And they basically share the same stats. Basically, the difference is in the perks and traits. Nergal PR4 is definitely the other pulse rifle I would recommend. It is also a beast in PvP, so make sure to check that out. Anyway, this is the end of this little video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please show your support by clicking on like, or maybe leave a comment, or maybe even subscribing. Thanks.